Once again, this is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is VertZ, the online magazine of virtualization and cloud computing. And I'm glad you could join us this go-round. We're talking about all kinds of cool stuff that we have on the VertZine blog, V-I-R-T-Z-I-N-E dot com, as it says here. And I'd encourage you to check that out because it will be quite informative and beneficial to you if you are a cloud computing and virtualization kind of person as I am. Now, what kinds of things have we talked about on the blog? Well, let's check since the last netcast. Cloud Tweak. Six reasons why small and medium-sized businesses should embrace cloud computing. Now, small and medium-sized businesses are using cloud computing more and more. But let's go over these, uh, these six reasons very quickly why the author here who wrote this article thinks you should be using cloud computing. The cloud, number one, gives you more freedom in your hardware purchases. In traditional IT, when you're, you're often required to use certain hardware configurations to get your applications to work. This reduces your freedom and increases your purchasing cost. However, with cloud computing, it allows your services to work with a greater variety of devices and helps you shop in a wider range. It's less hardware dependent. Pretty neat. Number two, the cloud helps you acquire a stronger IT team for a small business Hiring a security, performance, or scalability expert can be overkill. However, with cloud computing, you can employ remote resources to help you manage your security or performance requirements without having to have, necessarily, a dedicated full-time member within your IT team. Now, being a dedicated full-time member of an IT team, I don't want to encourage outsourcing, but nevertheless, you get the idea for some small businesses that don't want to have a huge IT staff. So, I can see that point. Number three, the cloud can help cut IT costs. The fundamental premise of public cloud computing lies in the economies of scale. Instead of having the server tucked away in your office, managed by a dedicated team, the vendor can provide services to thousands of businesses leveraging common resources. Makes sense. Number four, the cloud can help you be more efficient. In many small to medium sized businesses, the enterprise IT requirement outgrows IT infrastructure quickly. It is not always easy to forecast and plan growth of the business, unlike large enterprises. This means you're forced to estimate the appropriate size of your infrastructure. And most often, you either end up underusing the system or you run out of space. And then number five, you can pay as you go. Many small to medium-sized businesses are cash-strapped, and having a heavy capital outlay for IT infrastructure can cripple invest investment elsewhere. By moving capital expenses to operational expenses, you can get your precious capital into other areas of the company. And number six, the cloud can help you to be better prepared for disasters. With cloud tools, you can easily set up your service to handle local disasters without keeping a lot of redundant servers lying around. You can also effectively set up your backups and have a DR or a business continuity program just like bigger corporations. So there you go six reasons, a minimum of six reasons, why you should embrace cloud computing if you're a small to medium sized business. Now, next item here, move your PC to the cloud. This is Panologic, which we've talked about before. Panologic, you know, has a little silver box looking terminals. Uh, they have a new system called Pano System for the Cloud, which basically moves the PC up into the cloud and just displays locally. It's basically like VDI except they're providing the service, which is kind of interesting. And I think we're going to start seeing more and more of that. So get ready for competitors' panologic. <laughs> Windows Server 2012 is emphasizing virtualization. They're beefing up their Hyper-V offering. Microsoft is in Windows Server 2012 and they're really hyping the free virtualization aspect of uh, Windows Server 2012, but you still have to buy Windows Server 2012, which is six to $800 per server in some cases, and, uh, you know, free is not exactly free when it comes at that price, so something to think about there. I say that because, obviously, Linux is free, 
you can run that on your server and there are free uh, virtualization tools like KVM and others for uh, including as a matter of fact VirtualBox which is a product of Oracle but it's free uh, as well so Microsoft's got a little bit of an argument to make there that uh, Hyper-V is free when you have to buy Windows Server 2012 to get it but at any rate Amazon was uh, caught explaining what happened during its recent outage on July 6th uh, at 5.13 p.m. Uh, their service failed and it affected a lot of really big sites. There was a massive thunderstorm and a lot of bad weather and it impacted their data center, which is crazy if you ask me, because most data centers are protected uh, from power outages and lightning and all those kinds of things and yet here is Amazon having an outage based on that ouch not a good thing so they're scrambling and they are working on it and are fixing that in order to get their reliability back up there where it needs to be uh, I'm a user of Amazon cloud services by the way I'm not just dissing them here um, I want them to get their hat together myself because uh, these very videos are put out on Amazon's S3 service and using CloudFront to be able to publish them around the world with uh, with excellent video speed. So, come on Amazon, hang in there. <laughs> a new version of ThinApp is out. VMware has released a new version of ThinApp and it has new features for Horizon, their, um, their new tool that is used with their in-computing virtualization system. The ThinApp version is 4.7.2. It is a minor release, but it has major new features for Horizon. Uh, it includes a mechanism for updating ThinApp packages in the Horizon Application Manager. It has a new relink-h command to enable prior ThinApp packages for Horizon. And it has a remove sandbox on start, which is a new package.ini parameter. So lots of new features available in this fairly minor release version, but still a lot of neat features that are there. Now, here's an interesting uh, little bit that I wanted to add in this week, and that is you can create your own personal cloud storage with an open source software project called Tonido, T-O-N-I-D-O.com, Tonido.com. They also have a hardware-based version that is a little box that you can put a hard drive in and put it on your network, and it's similar to network-attached storage, but it provides it as a cloud service. Mm -hmm.